Well, let's move on to some positive news this afternoon. Miss Earth South Africa was announced last night in a glamorous and green gala event at the Monte Casino Ballroom. Miss Earth South Africa is not your average beauty pageant, but rather a leadership program that aims to empower young South African women with the knowledge and platform to create a sustainable difference in the plight to combat the destruction of our natural heritage. Now, after months of campaigning and showcasing their various initiatives, 16 finalists took to the stage at the finale. Ultimately, 21-year-old Nozipo Magogula was announced as the brand new ambassador for South Africa. She will be representing the country on the global Miss Earth platform in the Philippines in October. Put your hands together for Nozipo Magadu. Give your, soul, your children that support. You know, beauty pageant these days is not about beauty. It's about brains. It's about making a difference in life. You know, as women, we need to stand up, you know, pull up our socks and make a difference. But last night during the gala evening, hashtag Miss Earth SA 2016 was trending. South Africans have had a lot to say. Let's take a look at what's being said on social media. Uh, the first tweet uh, coming through there says, uh, Congratulations to 2016 at Miss Earth underscore South Africa Queen at uh, Nausea. Women like you are the new generation of female role models. Shine. Hashtag Miss Earth 2016. That tweet from KG Christopher. More Twitter uh, comments coming through there on social media. Let's take a look. Uh, at the next tweet and some more uh, social media uh, comments coming through. The next tweet uh, is uh, from uh, at Zarif SMB. He says, Miss Earth is phenomenal. It is such a wonderful platform to empower our women. Hashtag Miss Earth 2016 at Miss Earth underscore essay at Togo Sun. Lots of comments coming through on social media. This one is of a gentleman who is uh, wanting some answers and maybe the director can answer this for us a little bit later. Maybe I'm way too ignorant, but who nominates uh, these people and what are their duties as hashtag Miss Earth 2016 at KGOC3H is asking that question. And lastly, ladies, how many of us hold the door open for other women? How many young women are you mentoring? Hashtag Miss Earth 2016 Candy uh, Tottle uh, is uh, tweeted, has tweeted that, and it's a valid question, something that Ella Bella said yesterday during that uh, gala event. How many young women are you holding that door open for? How many young women are you mentoring? Well, uh, let us know. You can get involved in the conversation at ANN7 TV is our Twitter handle, and you can use the hashtag Miss Earth 2016 as well. But now uh, joining us uh, in studio to discuss this further and to answer some of those questions is the Executive Director of the Miss Earth South Africa Leadership Program, Catherine Constantinidis, and the newly crowned Miss Earth South Africa 2016, Nozipo Magagula. Good afternoon to both of you ladies. Thank you for joining us here on Express Lunch. Nozipo, let me start with you. Congratulations. You were crowned you. last night. How are you feeling? I am so overwhelmed. I can't believe this. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. So talk me through the journey. It's been a couple of months of, of hard work and commitment. As one of the 16 finalists, what were your duties and how, how did you get to this point? We had to engage with the communities that we are in. We had to um, do a lot of community outreach projects, work with the youth and create environmental awareness. Mm -hmm. And the big campaign this year is Waste Stops With Me yes. because we have a big problem with waste in the world and in South Africa as well. So what we need to do is to teach the children to reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink the products that they have. Not everything that you hold with you is waste. Everything has value, mm -hmm. like the chocolate wrapper you have. If you can recycle that, we can stop having to make more products and filling our landfills until there's no way to put our mm -hmm. rubbish, but just focus on making something out of it. So that has been my journey thus far. 
It's been amazing so far. It's been incredible. You can imagine. Catherine, let's come to you because like we saw on Twitter, people are asking, you know, how are these ladies nominated? How do you choose a winner? Just talk us through the entire program. And it's it's not a beauty pageant. We've had this discussion before. It's, it's a leadership program to empower young women out there. Talk us through that. Absolutely. So this is most certainly a leadership program. Every year, young women have the opportunity to apply. Mm -hmm. And applications for 2017 will start probably in the next six, seven weeks. And the idea is that young South African women between the age of 18 and 26 can apply to be a part of this program. You need to be a South African citizen and you need to have had uh, completed your matric. Okay. For us, education is important. So we're not wanting young women who are 18 and still in high school. Mm -hmm. From the application process, there are interviews that are done around the country and 75 young women are chosen from across South Africa and it's not geographically sort of weighed. So if there are 20 young women from the Eastern Cape who are very strong one year, it has to do with your potential to grow mm -hmm. and your potential and opportunity to really give back to your community. The 75 young women are then given two tasks per month and they outside of just those two environmental campaigns that they will do each month, they get to engage, do workshops, attend different programs, campaigns that we run as an organization mm -hmm. and those that we support. And the idea is that we're really able to expose them to an extensive range of environmental and climate issues that we face as a country and in a global context as well. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the program, even though there's only a small group of winners and only one young lady that gets to go overseas, the idea is that we are able to influence 70 young women that go back into society and have an impact because they understand the contribution that they can make and the impact they can have mm -hmm. at home, within their workspaces and within their own communities. So we get to put 70 Earth Warriors back into society who will continue to influence their communities with whatever journey they go on. Mm -hmm. So it's really important for us that the young women focus and impact their communities through the educational programs that they run and they are adjudicated throughout the process and so they almost self-eliminate because if they don't do the community work mm -hmm. required they will not go through to the next round and the next round eventually to the top 16 and last night the cream of the crop those top 16 ladies yes, have definitely. made us so proud Nozipo said this morning at the breakfast that we all had together you know any one of those young women could have been crowned Miss Earth South Africa last night their contribution to society in the provinces they come from and their own communities has been unbelievable they have been a group of 16 young women who have gone throughout South Africa inspiring South Africans, impacting communities, yeah. and leaving their green footprints across our country. Yeah. And that's what this is about. Definitely. At the beginning of last week, we had a group of hand-picked judges from across different disciplines who then got an opportunity to sit for a day with each young woman, interview them, talk to them about their projects, and go through their own journals of the young woman's journeys. Mm -hmm. And they then chose Miss Earth South Africa and our group of ambassadors. Yes. So what I love, Catherine, about the Miss Earth South Africa program is that, you know, yes, there's one Miss Earth South Africa, but there's other ambassadors as well. There were three ambassadors and yes. then there's Miss, Miss, Miss Earth, Miss Water and, and so forth. Just yes. talk me through how that system works, because unlike a traditional beauty pageant, there's no first princess, second princess, but there's ambassadors, a group of strong uh, leaders, female leaders who are going to be working together to make our country better. You make such an important point because the idea is that there is a strong network of seven young women mm -hmm. who will continue to support each other, who will continue to support Nozipo ahead of a, a very hectic few weeks. Yeah. She only has three and a half weeks to prepare before she represents us at the International Miss Earth wow. this year. And it's the shortest period of time, but the dates are set by an international body, so yeah. we have no influence on that. However, these young women are there to step in when Nozipo is not only out the country, but maybe at a different project and each and every one of them plays a very specific and individual role. Mm -hmm. The idea is that we use the platform of the next year to allow this group of young women to continue influencing, speaking to people, engaging societies, platforms, conferences, and being able to really share what their journey has been, what they have found, what they have been doing, and what we need to do moving forward. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity for us to again have a platform of a stronger group of women who have already gone through the program and are able to mentor the next group of cohorts of 2017 as they inspire and share their journeys with the next group of young women. Which is so 
so important. Nano Zipo, Catherine spoke a little bit about it. You're going to be representing South Africa on the international stage in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you excited I'm, to be heading to the Philippines? I'm very excited and I'm very confident I'm going to do South Africa proud. I With the so help too. of Miss Earth South Africa, all the support I've been getting from family and friends in the University of Pretoria, I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. know I'm going to do SA proud. Well, all the best and we have all the faith in you as well. But I just want to talk to you about, you know, the importance of something that Catherine's touched on as well. And that's the concept of women mentoring and helping each other. Like Ella Bella said last night, holding that door open for other women as uh, the newly crowned Miss Earth South Africa. How important has it been for you to learn from other women who's been there before you and to take their advice and use it? It's been crucial. I think it's one of the reasons why I made it this far. I'm not a very confident person. Mm. So having had the opportunity to see Ella working with the children, to see how my fellow peers work with their children and their communities, how they communicate with all the various stakeholders that they work with, has given me the opportunity to learn from them. So now I've taken the lessons that I've learned from them and I've adapted them to suit myself and to yes. suit my needs and that's how I've used it. So women empowering women, is, it's crucial. It is, I couldn't it's agree more. Just lastly, Catherine, because we are running out of time, I just want you to speak to South Africans, women, men, young women as well, on the importance of, you know, conservation and making sure that, you know, uh, uh, waste stops with you, that you recycle. Also, the concept of women uh, mentoring and helping out other women. What would, you, what would be your message to the country? My message to South Africans is that the issue of women empowerment has to be an inclusive issue that both men and women work on mm -hmm. and focus on every single day. It is important for us to understand that we need to move forward in a society that understands that we have an impact on the environment in everything we do. Mm -hmm. How are we becoming more conscious and focused to de be deliberate in our actions and to leave a lesser footprint on the environment that we live in and work in every single day. Mm -hmm. There are things that can be done in your office, in your home space, and as a family, what do you do each weekend? Do something that has a positive impact on the environment. Take plastic bags into the store with you. During Arbor Month, go and buy one indigenous tree and plant it together mm -hmm. in your home community as a, as a workforce. But we need to be more conscious and deliberate about our actions. Definitely. I love the campaign. It's uh, an am amazing campaign. Catherine, well done. It's Thank been a number you. of years now that you've been doing this. Nozipo, all the best uh, in the Phil Philippines. We're going to be watching you and keeping an eye out for you. And ladies, thank you for joining us here Thank on Express so Lunch. Thank you. It's